Well, I guess I just figured out how to overclock my tea. When I saw a GTX 780 listed as junk and not working, I decided upon myself to take a real close look at the photos and then take a gamble. So here is the story of the rejuvenated GTX 780. All right, it's time to see if this thing boots. So let's see if we can get a signal today. Righty. That is a short circuiting 780 Ti. So as we saw there before with that graphics card, uh, it just, it's basically the power supply did a safety mechanism where it cut off straight away. And that's generally an indication of a short circuit, which I'm just gonna check the basic stuff. Maybe that he's put too much thermal paste on the previous owner and it's sort of squeezed off the side of the GPU and it's now, uh, you know, connecting two resistors together or whatnot. So we're just gonna quickly check that and see what's up there. And also, this is really bad, wow. Okay, he's got metal straight on the back here connecting <laughs> these things with no uh, components there. So we're just gonna try a few little different things and then see if we can get this GTX 780 to boot up again. Wow, like look at that. I mean, if this stuff is conductive, then holy shit. All right, so it's time for round two. All right, let's do this. Okay, come on, graphics card, give me a signal. Okay, we got another power cut. Damn, so it looks like we may have a 780 after all. Uh, wow, okay, so anyway, I picked up the power supply to test the power supply and there's water, white water coming out of this power supply. Like, I've never seen this, what the? I really do not understand what is going on here. Like, there is water coming out of my power supply. Like, what the f What the actual f I've never seen this shit before. Now you can see that? It's like just dripping water and there was water on the fan. So water must have leaked down somewhere. Wow, okay. Well, apparently my house is leaking like water around here. Like literally right on my freaking power supply. Of all places in the house, to leak water, it leaks it on my frickin' power supply. All right, so now we've got here a towel, which is a temporary solution, so if it leaks, it's gonna leak onto the window, which is fine with me, I don't care. Let's get on with the testing. All right, so we've got the heater going, and now it's gonna dry off that power supply, but in the meantime, we are gonna use the Act Bell. Alright, so it's finally time to see if this thing boots up. I now have a chance. 
Alright, I don't know what happened there, but it turned itself on. And let's see if we can get a signal out of this GTX 780. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Mm, mm, mm. We got a $130 GTX 780. All right. <laughs> okay, this time around, we are just going to see if this thing actually uh, just makes this fan spin here. Essentially, meaning it's just booting up on a basic boot. Uh, so, just get our key here. Come on, pals. Yes. Yes, okay. All right, cool. So, we basically have water in here and we dried it out and wow I mean this speaks lengths for FSP group I mean they got some good uh, protection built into their power supplies at the very least but anyway let's move over to conclusion so in conclusion there you have it I have to think I was I don't know really unlucky or really blessed I mean maybe that power supply cutting out due to the water leak was a way of cutting the graphics card out before it sustained any damage. That's the only way I can think of it, because what are the chances of water leaking in a house the size of my house now in just the hole in the power supply? So anyway, guys, at the end of the day, we have now a working GTX 780 that if you guys look for a graphics card and you see it is not working and you see that it looks pretty good and it doesn't smell, then maybe you can take a gamble as well. But keep in mind, not all the time it will work, but if it does work, you're gonna get extremely good value for money like I have here. And the good thing is it does have a really good aftermarket cooling solution on it. And another good thing is the GTX 780 benchmarks can now begin. So anyway, that's it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments about the GTX 780 and the leaking water in my house that almost caused my power supply to blow out, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And in the meantime, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Yes City and I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Don't worry, the CPU was already dead. The bottom of the tea tastes terrible. Oh my god. Whoa.